Hello everyone, welcome back to the Success Coach. Today we're going to be learning about the Rainforest Safari. The safari is filled with a lot of life. We're going to be exploring the plants and animals living in the rainforest. Now, why don't we go ahead and get started now? Here is the lesson outline. First thing we're going to learn about is the rainforest which is a lush and vibrant world. Then we're going to be learning about the layers of the rainforest. Then we're gonna be learning about the rainforest diversity. Diversity means all of the plants and animals living in that specific place. Now, welcome to the rainforest. This picture you can see right here is the rainforest. Now, can you find all of the animals in this image? I'll give you guys a few seconds, and if it's too short for you, you can go ahead and pause this video for you guys to find all the animals in the rainforest. So, did you guys find all of the animals in the rainforest? If you guys did, tell me how much you see in the comments down below. So for me, I see one, which is this monkey right here. And then I see another one, which is all the way up there, in the tree right there and then I see I can see like a little bird in, or a toucan near the corner of the screen I can also see a butterfly so that would be four I can also see a frog which is a green frog I can also see one and I can also see a jaguar or a cheetah I can see one which is next to the toucan you can see right here there's also a snake right there you see it yeah there's also a snake so that would make it's seven. If you guys see more than seven, please tell me in the comment section below. Now, why don't we move on? Today, you'll be able to describe a rainforest, name the plants found in a rainforest, and name the animals that live in a rainforest. And I have a fun fact for you guys. Did you guys know that the Amazon rainforest is the largest rainforest in the world? Yes, you guys heard me right. The Amazon rainforest is one is the largest rainforest, which means there's a lot of animals, there's a lot of trees and plants. There's all of those in the Amazon rainforest. Lush and vibrant world. It has dense and lush vegetation. It receives a lot of rain throughout the year, making it moist, but not too moist. It is also home to diverse plants and animals, which makes it really amazing to see. Now, Let's go over the layers of the rainforest. The first, or the highest layer, is the emergent, which hosts the tallest trees and the flying animals. Next is the canopy, which has dense branches and leaves. Then there is the understory. The understory is home to smaller, to smaller trees and plants with, with large, with large and plants with large leaves. Then at the bottom, which is the very bottom right here, it is the forest floor, which is where you can find decomposing fallen leaves and matter. So those are the four layers of the rainforest. Now, I have a, uh, have, I have a short question for you guys. Which animal should be in which habitat? First up, let's talk about this polar bear right here. We know that the polar bear has a thick layer of fur, which makes it very, which makes, which keeps it warm in cold habitats. So if we were to put it in the jungle, which is not hot but not cold, so it's pretty much warm, the f polar bear would be too hot in there. Then, if we were to put it right here with the ocean seafloor, it, it, it can't survive because it needs oxygen to breathe, so... If you said that this polar bear up here belonged to the place with the ice and with some water, then you are correct. Now, what about this monkey right, right there? I think it would go in the jungle because, as you can see, the jungle has a lot of trees for the monkey to climb in. So yes, the monkey should be in this jungle. Now, what about the orca whale just right over there? Well, there's no other options, so... That means that the whale is going to go to with the sea because it needs ox it needs water so it, it pretty much bases off of water. So if you guys said those answers, good job. Next we're going to be talking about rainforest rainforest diversity. 
Tall trees like giant sequoias and oak trees are in the rainforest. You can also find colorful orchids, which is a type of flower. You can also see ferns and medicinal plants, which are plants used for medicine all around the world. So it's very important for us. Now let's talk about the rainforest diversity, about but animals. You can see colorful birds like macaws and toucans. This this bird right here is called a toucan because you can see it has that beak, so it's very important. You can also find insects like bugs, butterflies, and spiders, which you can see all those in a rainforest. Very amazing. Here are more animals. You can also see mammals like monkeys and deer. You can also see reptiles like snakes, frogs, and lizards, which is really cool to see because there's lots of types of animals in a rainforest. Now, here's the summary of what we learned in today's episode. The rainforest, it is a dense and lush forest that receives a lot of rain. We also learned about the plants. Rainforests are home to various plants, such as sequoias, oaks, ferns, orchids, and medicinal plants. We also learned about animals. Rainforests have many incredible animals, such as macaws, toucans, monkeys, snakes, and chameleons and insects too thank you all for watching that is all we have for today don't forget to like comment share subscribe and click the bell to get more videos bye we'll see you on the next episode